Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Shelly Miller here with Inspired Brushworks Art Studio. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating a technique for printing a design that is larger than an eight and a half by 11 inch size piece of paper. I'm going to be showing you how to do this. It's called tiling, and we'll be doing this today in Adobe Acrobat Reader. Um, you can do this using other software programs, uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Paint, publisher and so on. Um, I am going to demonstrate this using the design for my acrylic virtual class project for the month of June. It's called Breathe. The design is a 12 inch by 12 inch design and of course we want to be able to print that so that we have a full 12 inch by 12 inch size sketch um, and the method to do so is not as hard as you may think. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Like I said, I'll be demonstrating using Adobe Acrobat Reader because the file that I will be e emailing out to all my students is in a PDF format. So the first step would be to open the PDF document. And there it is, this is the design for the Breathe painting, uh, the virtual acrylic class painting for the month of June. Now I have saved this design in a 12 inch by 12 inch size so that it will fit on your canvas. However, when you go to print it, this is the problem that you will run into. You can see right here where Adobe Acrobat Reader is scaling this design down to fit on an eight and a half by 11 inch size piece of paper. Now we don't want that because we do want the full 12 inch by 12 inch design so that it covers our entire canvas. So I'm going to show you a way around that in order to be able to print and end up with a 12 inch by 12 inch um, sketch. So you'll see right here. Now, one word of caution, the version of Adobe Acrobat Reader that I'm using may be different from yours. So these options may be in a different place on your software, um, but I'm sure it's basically the same. You just may have to hunt those options a little bit. It may not appear exactly where mine are, but you'll see right now where the button for fit is clicked. That's what's causing this to scale this down so that it will fit on this piece of paper. Now, if we turn it to actual size, that isn't really what we want either because now what happens, we have the full design, 12 by 12 inch, but it's placed that eight and a half by 11 inch size piece of paper right in the middle of the design. So when you print it, all you're gonna get is what fits on this piece of paper. We don't want that either. We're actually going to change the page, page size to poster. So now what we have is um, it has taken this design and has split it into four sections or four quadrants. Each of these quadrants is an eight and a half by 11 inch size piece of paper. So that when we click the print button now, what we will get is four pieces of paper with each of them will have a piece of this design on it. Now I am going to show you what we get when we do that. So here we go. This is what you will get when you finish printing. You'll get four, si or four pieces of paper, all eight and a half by 11 inch size. And each of the pieces will have a piece of the design on it. Now, what I would suggest is gluing these back together to form a 12 inch by 12 inch design. But you'll notice that along the edges here, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a white margin or a white piece of paper margin around each of these um, pieces. So what I would recommend doing is cutting off the little bit of margin that prints on the bottom and then taking this section here and gluing it right up next to the design on this piece. So you'll cut this little piece and then glue that together. Same here, cut this little piece and then glue those together. And then you'll also need to cut one of these margins or the other. It doesn't really matter which one 
and then overlap them. Basically, you want to try to get this piece back together so there are no white spaces in between, if that makes sense. Um, when you guys go to do this, if you have any questions on it, feel free to email me and we can set up a Zoom um, where I can show you this in more detail if needed. All right, guys. Thanks very much. You guys have a great day. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.